Today we are talking about how to tune this beautiful Lauren. She's a lovely girl. Uh, in just intonation, uh, we're going to tune it to an open D chord. Thusly, D, A, D. Come on into the uh, close to the neck here so you can see. D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. It's just an overtone series. If I go up the sixth string, that's half the string in the 12th fret. And then one third of the string is approximately the seventh fret. One quarter of the string is approximately the fifth fret. One fifth of the string is just behind the, uh, the fourth fret. And one sixth of the string is in front of, that direction of, the third fret. And then there's this one seventh of the string. We're not gonna use that for this particular application, although it is beautiful. And then one eighth of the string. So half, one third, one quarter, one fifth, one sixth, and many more, but we're not using that one. And one eighth. Now listen to this again. Oops. You can have a hard time getting that one ring out a little bit. There it is. String's a little dead, I think. Then you hear that. And so we're going to learn how to tune this pure because it's great for getting our sense of intonation and um, uh, in terms of working on your singing, you can learn to sing a lot more in tune by practicing singing over an in tone, in tune or just intonated drone. Uh, the system tuning we use in the West uh, is called equal temperament, like we divide the octave up into 12 equal parts a la the frets, but music is a little bit more is finer than that in general and that's why we like slide guitars and bent strings on uh, guitars and good singers and saxophones and all of these things is because we can get to those notes that uh, that the notes that the frets are approximating in many places uh, I'm gonna leave a deeper discussion of that aside because what we're going to talk about today is so first thing to do is just tune your fourth string I'm going to tune everything to the D string or fourth string and um, and so you can tune that to a tuner as a matter of fact you could go ahead and tune the whole guitar up to a tuner. So you have D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. I've deliberately lowered the pitch of the strings from standard tuning so that it relaxes the neck a little bit rather than tightening against it. This one again is from six down to one. It's D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. So you can start from there from a tuner and now I'm gonna teach you how to get them uh, precisely in tune. Um, if you don't have a tuner and you're, you tune by ear or use other mechanisms to do that, you just know that from standard tuning, the E string will be coming down a whole step, the A string will stay the same, D string stays the same, the third string comes down a half step, the second string comes down a whole step, and the first string comes down a whole step. Okay, so now I say tune everything to your fourth string one reference point. So what you'll do is you'll play the harmonic at the 12th fret of the 6th string and compare that to the 4th string open and you'll get a unison. It's pretty close. It's not exactly, and you can hear a little bit of beating, but... Okay, I'm gonna live with that for now. And then, to get the 1st string, to get all our D's in, we'll do the opposite. We're going to play the harmonic on the fourth string, and we're going to compare the first string to that. That's pretty good, too. If you want to really be clear about what you're hearing, you can use your right hand. Come into the right hand real close here for a second. Is that you, can, you can use your right hand to mute the, the strings that you're not playing. You can see I've got my thumb between the fifth and sixth strings, and I'm, and I'm touching the other strings. Uh, my middle finger is on the uh, G string, or the third string, and my ring finger is sort of between, or actually on the second string. So I'll actually pluck this fourth string, and then I'll pluck that first string with my middle, or my pinky finger, which usually doesn't do much. Just like that. So I can really be sure, oh, I'm just hearing those two strings. I'm not confused by anything that's going on with the other ones. Okay, that's close enough for now. So now we've got three different octaves of D 
So we've tuned the sixth string to the fourth string, and then we tuned the first string to the fourth string. Now I'm going to tune the fifth string. And um, these are A's, and so how we're going to tune that is we're going to, this, our source on that fourth string is going to be at one third of the string, or the, approximately the seventh fret. When you're making these harmonics, it helps to make sure you're relatively close to the bridge, so you're not canceling the harmonic out. So here I just lightly push the, this, uh, my finger down on the string. I guess I should talk about harmonics a little bit. Is when, you're, when you're making a harmonic, you're not actually fretting the note. You're not actually pushing the string down to the fret. You're just lightly touching the string so that it can't vibrate at that particular point. So at half of the string right here, I'm touching the string and then it's vibrating in half. And so right here, I'm touching it at one third of the string and it's vibrating in thirds. The other third is way up here. You can see they're the same because I'm just stopping the string from vibrating at that one point. Okay, back to our tuning. So now I play the string at the one third of the one third of the fourth string at the seventh fret, and then at the one quarter of the fifth string or the fifth fret. I'm going to compare those. You can hear a little beating. Wow. That's the sound of equal temperament. Fifths beat a little bit slowly and let's say pleasantly like the sound of the ocean. And so I'm just gonna pull on that fifth string a little bit, pull it a little bit flat so you can hear there's more beating. And then I'm just gonna slowly tune it up. That's very slow beating now. Oh, something happened. I pulled on it and it got faster, so I know that it's a little farther away. The closer you get in tune, the slower the beating will get. Very tiny adjustments. If you go past it and it gets faster, bring it below and then bring it up. You always want to tune a string by tightening it. Excuse me, Mr. Music Stand. Okay, so now I'm going to go and tune uh, my second string. It's in the, we're going to tune it the same way by tuning it to one third of the fourth string. And I'm going to tune half of the second string to one third of the fourth string. So we're always getting a unison. It's the easiest thing to hear. And I'm getting some of that sort of equal temperament 50 beating, so I just brought the second string flat. And now you can really hear the beating. That's pretty close to equal tempered beating, so I can just get it a little bit closer. I'm gonna live with that. Okay, now this is where the uh, rubber really hits the road because equal temperament, this is now what we call the major third. If you think of chords as going, mm, do, mi, so, mi, in equal temperament in our system in the West is out of tune by about 14% sharp. Um, if I tune it to the fret, you'll hear what it sounds like generally. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm actually fretting the fourth fret of the fourth string and tuning the third string to that so that you can get pretty close to equal temper. And you can hear the beating there. Anyway. So I'm gonna bring it below. I'm just tuning that third by ear right now because I've done it a lot of times.
but the easiest way to do it is again unison. So this is the tricky one is what you have to find is one fifth of the fourth string. It's not exactly at the metal bar, it's just behind it a little ways and you just move the finger around until you get that clear bell tone. So take some practice. And then I recommend maybe using the first finger to, to play that one and then play the harmonic on the at the fifth fret of the third string to compare like that. Again, I'm doing a lot of muting with the right hand so that I can hear only the third and fourth strings. And I did a, a pretty, did a pretty okay job. It's pretty in tune. But let's hear a little beating, so I'll bring it flat. Oh, there you can hear a lot. A funky string, this fourth string. that's in pure or just intonated tuning in the key of D and great things to do include just taking the pitch of one of the strings and singing its note and then hearing it in harmony with another string and then just always comparing that to the fourth string so if you first of all just sing with the fourth string a unison and then sing the third and then sing the fifth. And just notice how those intervals are different and what they sound like pure. Um, and if you have a hard time with that, find a teacher in your area. Okay, have fun. <laughs>